If I had to pick one thing about the center, about social justice work at Santa Clara, the crown jewel would be our clinics. And these are actual law offices run by professors who are practicing lawyers. In them, student practitioners actually represent the clients. So they're both providing invaluable services to people who might otherwise not obtain legal representation. But they're also gaining all sorts of critical practical skills, interviewing clients, gathering facts, doing discovery, preparing pleadings and briefs for courts, and actually appearing in court on behalf of clients. So the Catherine and George Alexander Law Center represents clients in the areas of immigration law, workers' rights, and consumer protection. In the immigration law area, most of the work concentrates on representing asylum seekers and on victims of human trafficking and crimes and getting immigration relief for those people. In consumer protection, the clinic's work includes things like protecting people against debt harassment and against unscrupulous contracts where there's fraud involved. In the area of workers' rights, the clinic represents people who are victims of discrimination based on disability, for example, or another example would be representing workers whose employers have refused to pay them. The International Human Rights Law Clinic has a wide breadth of work, and you really have to look at its website to fully grasp it. But it involves things from representing people in the Dominican Republic whose citizenship has been revoked because of their Haitian ancestry, to pesticides and water pollution in Costa Rica, to representing LGBT applicants in Jamaica, to representing the County of Santa Clara, providing technical assistance as they enact an ordinance involving women's rights. The Northern California Innocence Project, I know that I keep using the term life-changing work when I talk about the clinics, but there's really no other word to describe what the Northern California Innocence Project does. This clinic focuses on overturning wrongful convictions. So to date, they have obtained 30 exonerations, and that represents 347 years of prison terms that were imposed wrongfully. So in this clinic, students review the records and engage in cutting-edge legal techniques, such as new forensic science and new theories about eyewitness identification. The Immigration Appellate Practice Clinic is a clinic that I direct, and in this, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit points us to represent people seeking review of deportation orders. So students meet with a client, review the record, conduct research, write the brief, and then actually represent the client before the U.S. Court of Appeals in oral argument. We've had a number of precedent decisions that have resulted from our work, and so we're often able to cite to our own cases in representing new clients. Then last but not least is the Entrepreneurs Law Clinic, a truly innovative clinic in which students represent Silicon Valley startups in all sorts of things that the company might need to get started. This could include articles of incorporation or other enterprise formation, website provisions, contracts, all sorts of things that the company might need to get itself going wonderful work done by our clinics, and I highly encourage you to get involved with these. Most of these are open to second and third year students, but there are some opportunities for first years as well in your second semester, so take a look at those.